Hey, hi, hello, my name is Emily, and thanks so much for hanging out with us on the Today Needs You podcast. This is where we have the chance to chat about all the things, from feelings and friendships to our favorite sneakers and our favorite Bible verses, we're going to tackle it all. I'm super pumped about today's episode, so let's dive in together. Hello, welcome back to the Today Needs You podcast. I'm super pumped to be joined by Elle Haywood today. Hi. (laughs) This is so fun. Um, Elle, before we dive in to the value of scripture and the Bible and what we benefit from that, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm in eighth grade. I go to Hyde Park in Austin, Texas. Um, I play basketball and volleyball. Pretty intensely, too. Yeah. Not just, like, casually on the side. Like, it's yeah, your play, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like sports a lot. That's awesome. Um, I'm very involved in my church, and yeah. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Excited. The reason I wanted to talk with you about the value of scripture and why we read the Bible is because... L in 2022 read the entire Bible in one year, which I think is so amazing on so many different levels. Um, first of all, I am impressed because that is something that I have tried to do like eight different times. And I really just like can't read, take in that much information at one time. And I have now learned that about myself, but one, because it's a lot of information to take in at one time. Two, because that's like, that takes a lot of willpower and strength over an extended period of time, which I think is really awesome. Um, But also because of the Bible and how the Bible is um, something that God gives us to connect with God and learn about um, God's character and the story of Jesus and the freedom we get from that, um, and also some helpful tidbits for like how to live out everyday life. And so I wanted to ask you a few questions. Um, what were some, did you have any like challenges along the way that you were like, Ugh, I got to get through this. I got to yeah. get over this hurdle. Uh, definitely like finals when I had finals, Ooh, yeah. like there were like some days, it's like I would like just like forget yeah <laughs> or like not or I'd be studying or be too tired and then the next day I'd have to read double mm-hmm. and then sometimes it got to the point where I'd be like at one time I got down by like a month and it was like and you w- caught back up a uh, road trip <laughs> oh my gosh okay yeah so how long did it take you <laughs> to make the month back I read up? the Bible for like eight hours straight on a road trip to Oklahoma. Oh my gosh. Yeah. (laughs) That's so amazing. It was okay. So like I did the, on like the Bible app, I just like did one of the plans. Cause like, I like the way they split it up. They had it like you read something in the old Testament every single day, something Mm -hmm. in the new Testament every single day and either a Psalm or a proverb. Oh, very cool. So like, I thought the way that they split that up, was really good because you're not reading like 17 chapters of exodus at one time yeah like also like there's so much more old testament than there was new testament so the old testament reading was always a lot harder than the new testament (laughs) reading yeah so that like sometimes getting through like leviticus that was kind of a struggle yeah (laughs) and like books like that were like harder but like Also, I, like, wrote, I would write a prayer, like, before I would read. So, I had this, like, one prayer that I would say, like, before I would read, like, giving me, like, to help me actually understand what I'm reading. Yeah. (laughs) Because sometimes, you know, like, when you read and, like, you read with your eyes but not your brain. (laughs) That is so well said. Yes, I do know exactly what that's like. (laughs) That would happen. And then I'd have to go back and reread it because I would want to know what I was reading. Yeah. So that was kind of hard too, but. Yes. So you weren't just like checking a box. You were like, if I'm going to do this. I need to understand what I'm actually doing. (laughs) Yeah. I want something that I take away from it. Yeah. Did you have a favorite part of the Bible? 
I liked Romans a lot. Uh huh. What made you like that? Um, I just like like the way that it was written, mm-hmm. I guess, and like like it has like so many like key like good verses in it, and I just really like that book a lot. That's awesome. Like okay, one of like my favorite parts of it after I'd read like finish like a book or something, I had this like tracker type thing. Oh yeah, and it would like. I just found it off of Pinterest and took a screenshot and, like, printed it off. Totally. And, like, it had, like, all the books of the Bible on it. And then you'd color in the book that you finished. Oh. And it was, like, the most satisfying thing. Like, when I was finished, I, like, looked at it and I was like, oh, my gosh, I've read all of these. You had 66 books colored in. And then also, like, on the Bible app, you click the little, like, circle when you're finished oh, reading that thing yes, and that it's so sad it's so satisfying best. and it's like you completed day 364 or something yeah. and then you're just like, you're like it's oh very gosh, and you're like oh my gosh yes. i have one more day i love tomorrow's that. the day i'm finished reading the whole entire bible that's amazing okay so wanting to you said that you wanted to like gain knowledge from reading the bible in a year what is can you kind of give like an umbrella to what you feel like you took away from reading the Bible in a year? I know you read a lot of different things, read through a lot of different like personal seasons. I'm sure you were navigating different things in your life at different points in what you were reading in the Bible um, and how you were connecting with God. And so is there one that you can point to specifically that you're like, Ooh, I'm really glad I have that with me now after reading the Bible in a year. That's like a really hard question. I know it's a big question. <laughs> I get asked that like a lot, like after like I'd finish my parents would go down and be like, what did you learn? And I'm like, a lot. So much. <laughs> um, I feel like something that like really, really stuck with me is like, and it's just like really simple, but they said it so many times that it's like, like the thing is, like, how, like, Jesus, like, like, just, like, how you are saved, like, because Paul talks about it, like, so much in the New Testament, and there's, like, so many things that, like, point back in the Old Testament, Mm -hmm. and seeing those connections was super cool, like, seeing, like, like, prophecies being fulfilled, that was definitely one of my favorite parts. Yeah, it's not, like, I think that's something that I love about the Bible, and I've been learning recently, is that the Old Testament also points to to Jesus yeah. being and there's our a, Savior, there's like not a, just the New Testament. And there's also, like, a ton of, like, symbolism, too. Yeah. Like, even, like, the littlest things, like, can, like, symbolize, like, Jesus. And I feel like it's really cool just, like, finding Jesus, like, everywhere in the Bible. Like, everywhere you look, yeah. like, you can find a way to connect that back to Jesus, which I think is super cool. That's really beautiful. I love that. <laughs> El, how have you been reading the Bible in 2023. Now that you finished that at the end of 2022, what does your relationship with the Bible look like right now? Um, okay. So like after I like use like the same Bible, mm-hmm. like throughout the whole entire thing. Cause I was like, cause like I highlight like yeah. a lot. <laughs> Do you know what version you use? I used an NIV. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then I got for my birthday in September, I got an, NLT Uh and I got like another I got like two Bibles for my birthday okay and so like I didn't like I was like no I'm not gonna touch these I want to finish this Bible that I'm using so I've liked um I did done like devotionals and stuff Mm -hmm. and then I've also like I like comparing the two translations to each other like yeah (laughs) looking at how it says the same message Mm -hmm. in different ways. Yeah. Yeah. That's super cool. I love that. Do you have any tips for reading the Bible consistently? Like determination. You have to be determined if you want to do that because it's not something that you can like, you can't like wing it, I guess. Like you have to like know what you want to do and like yeah. you have to you also have to kind of have a plan like I wouldn't just be like like I remember when I was little I'd be like okay I'm gonna read the whole entire bible and then I'd just like read like a few chapters of Genesis and I'd be like okay I'm done yeah okay that was fun <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like I remember I was in the car 
like I think I was like after church one day I was in the car and we were like driving to like I don't know like P. Terry's or something like that yes. or Hat Creek yeah and I was like okay while well, you're in there I'm gonna read the whole entire bible <laughs> I got this <laughs> and I, I'm gonna be a superhero <laughs> yeah that and I'd be like okay I'm done now my eyes are tired or yeah. something like that and it's not really some you can't like just like do that and I feel like definitely like find like a good plan that you like or mm-hmm. else it's gonna be like really hard like you can't yeah. do it by yourself or else like structure is like really important for those types of things yeah and I think the plan you used the one-year bible is really good because it does do a little bit of the old testament a little bit of the new testament and then psalm slash proverbs um and I think that's a great I think that's probably helpful for most people that it's spurts of different things and not just like reading straight through one chunk and so I think that's really great Oh, thanks so much for sharing your tips and tidbits and just being an encouragement um, to me and to our community as we work to connect with God and connect with others. And the Bible is a hugely helpful tool in connecting with God. It's I've often heard it referred to as a love letter from God, and I love to think of it that way. Um, And so... Thank you so much for sharing with us and we will see you guys next week on the podcast. Um, Have a great rest of your week. Bye. Thanks so much for listening while we're just getting started. If you want to stay plugged into this community, like, subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to hear more about, who you would like to hear from by shooting us an email at info at all the things dot community.